Okay guys, in my last community post, I asked you how modular construction can give us benefit. Okay, and here you can see that uh, maximum of you have cast your vote in favor of better control over quality. Okay, and also it's very interesting that almost 27% of you actually don't know what is a modular construction. Okay, so I thought that uh, why I cannot make a video on this particular topic. Okay, so in this video, I will discuss about modular construction. What is this actually and what are the benefits? Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so let's start. At the very first, why a modular construction is actually needed or you can say how this concept has been generated. Okay, so from my practical experience, I am saying you, you are interested to build some factory or refinery at uh, Alberta in Canada okay now the fact is that almost 10 months in a year this particular place in Canada remains covered with snow so of course you cannot uh, work there okay you can work there only for two months that is uh, March and April okay so within this two month you cannot build a complete huge factory or refinery it is not possible okay so you have to go for some other concept where you cannot uh, construct everything at the site but within the small window that is two month or three month you can actually complete your construction or consider uh, the aspect of our country in india okay let's say there are some uh, bridges rail bridges which are very old from british era okay and this is a very busy bridge and to somehow it has been damaged and you need to uh, let's say replace a particular span but it cannot be closed for a uh, one month or two month period so in that case also what you can do you can do all of your job at some other location and simply on a particular day on a particular time window you can replace the span so that is the concept of modular construction now let's dive into the detail of modular construction so in modular construction it is clear that a uh, maximum of job almost 80 percent of jobs are done uh, something known as fabrication shops okay so what happens in fabrication shops in fabrication shops maximum parts of the structure especially the superstructure are built parts by parts okay here you can see that some steel structure or modules are being uh, placed by using this crane okay and also you can see that there are some structure which has been already constructed at the ground okay so in modular construction what happens you build all the uh, substructure or the foundation and also very few parts of the uh, superstructure at site okay and then the maximum parts are being simply uh, transported to the site and then being erected okay so the very first step of this modular construction is you need to fabricate all the module in smaller pieces okay in the soft okay here you have to be very careful because uh, you cannot make this module too much large because ultimately after completing the uh, construction in the fabrication soft you have to transport it to the site okay and that is a really really challenging job to transport this heavy module to your site okay so the first step is covered that is you have to fabricate your module at the shop and of course due to this reason you have a better control over quality got it okay now let's dive into the second step so let's say you are supposed to construct something in uh, north america let's say houston and you are transporting all your steel material from china so in that case you have to transport all this module uh, through this sea okay and in that case you have to use the barge to transport these modules okay so can you guess the weight and the volume of this module it's a huge simply it's a huge okay now let's say you have already reached uh, to the mainland of north america and uh, then you have to use the road to transport this module to your site okay and during this transportation you have to take care of the uh, local rules regulation the height restriction okay not only that you have to take care about the uh, loading conditions actual load everything okay 
based on which you have to design your module you cannot make as large as possible it is not possible okay and finally you have reached to your site okay so now i think you have got an idea about modular construction okay here you can see that modules are being installed here these are simply pipe rack modules okay and these racks are being installed over already pre-built structure this one and these are known as stick built because this particular part of the structure has been built inside itself okay so uh, after watching this video i think it is clear to you how it is possible uh, that china has built a 40 story building in 24 hours simply it's a modular construction they have built all the modules all the floor modules in their fabrication soft for months even for years okay then simply in a particular day within 24 hours they have simply assembled them okay i think uh, that's enough for today if you like this video please don't forget to share it